What's up everybody, welcome back to Plugins Hut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. A little bit of an impromptu video today, uh, just reading over on poststatus.com uh, that Elementor has raised a $15 million Series A led by Lightspeed Venture Partners. And the article goes on to uh, describe sort of uh, the expectations of raising that kind of money. Uh, and most notably, something that um, I've been hinting on for a while, if you read down into the article, um, I expect to see a fully hosted version of site building capability powered by Elementor, where WordPress is, at least partially, hidden from view of the user. They are currently hiring for their cloud team for purposes of building, maintaining, and supporting the company cloud hosting SaaS solution. And this is something that uh, you know I've been talking about for many years uh, with successful WordPress plugins uh, and products uh, go to the next level, ultimately being some kind of SaaS derivative. And I would even argue that we'll be seeing that uh, from automatic slash jetpack slash WordPress, you know, in the years to come. I, I really feel like Gutenberg and Jetpack are really going to come together uh, to give a SaaS-like experience uh, to the benefit uh, of automatic. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I just think that automatic is a SaaS company like every other every other SaaS company that's out there, no different than what we see uh, Elementor doing. And this could be a shift to increase the value of Elementor to be purchased by a competitor uh, or even automatic itself. A few things that you know come to mind and something that I've always warned people about when it comes to page builders is when they start to uh, see this skyrocket growth um, that these page builders have to become a complete platform. And I've been talking about this in many videos, not only on this channel, but on my other YouTube channel. And it's just the nature of the beast. When you are serving a customer at this velocity, where you're getting this many customers, this many users, uh, and I know that I've talked about this looking into Facebook groups, seeing the feature requests that people ask for, wanting everything to be within Elementor. And in one of the last videos, we talked about contact forms and pop-ups. Uh, really the next step that I think uh, that might happen even before we see a SaaS platform, although I've been known to be wrong, is a, a play at e-commerce, right? We, I talked about this on my other channel that recently Awesome Motive, which is, uh, you know, uh, Syed Balki's company with Optin Monster, and now he's uh, acquiring new SEO plugins and really the last thing to just put this whole consumer experience together is e-commerce. I also feel like that is also the play for Elementor because once you get into these platforms, you as the customer hopefully experience something valuable, something easy to use, fun to use, um, functional, right? It's getting the job done. And no different, Elementor is going to have to do the same thing once they get into SaaS. I mean, they really become the players that are going to be competing against the Wixes and the Squarespaces and now even WordPress in the world. So it really has me thinking, when does Automatic start to stop this? Can they stop this? Can they slow it down? Right? Because what you have here in Elementor is four, five, six million people using this who experience WordPress the Elementor way. Maybe some people don't even really care that it's WordPress, but they care that it's Elementor. Getting pulled out of the traditional WordPress ecosystem. And once you are on a hosted Elementor platform, there's no upsell to Jetpack. There's no cross-sell to WordPress.com. There's no, no cross-sell to other automatic products or other third-party products for that matter, unless, of course, they're striking deals um, behind the scenes. So automatic on its trajectory to 50% of the web, 80%, 100% of the web, how do they wrangle this in? How do they rein this in so that big plugins can't be scooping up all of these users and one day migrating millions, literally, of users off of the organic WordPress hosting experience, which is where Jetpack makes its money. Can they? I don't know if it's up for debate. Um, the other thing that 
I really want to iterate, and I iterate this more on my other channel, is that when you're a consultant, making the decisions for page builders is not just a feature thing, right? It's not just a theme thing. It's not just a feature thing. It's the long-term strategy. It's the support. It's the platform itself. And, and do you want to vote with your dollars to buy Elementor, uh, knowing that they're going for, you know, the long game, right? That they're going to a SaaS product. Some of you don't care. Um, I just know that I always like to look as best as I possibly can at forecasting, you know, the future. So if I had a hundred customers on Elementor, uh, when Elementor starts to go down the path of building out their SaaS product, what happens when there's like a cross uh, uh, feature benefit thing happening. So, okay, we don't have this in the Elementor plugin, but we do have it on our hosted platform. Uh, you have to migrate everybody over to this hosted platform. I'm sure they'll make it easy and they'll make it smooth, but now you're potentially pulling away from what brought you to WordPress in the beginning was, it's mine, I own it, I can control it, I can control the code base. And while you might think, well, we'll just have an Elementor plugin and a SaaS, plug, uh, a SaaS offering, I don't know if that's the case. I mean, I'm, again, just talking in hypotheticals here, I have no insider information. Um, I would just know that it would make it hard, even with $15 million in funding and profits, to manage great product experience and both a plugin level and a SaaS level. It can be done. Um, but I just think that there will be some kind of upsell and attraction to move. You know, so for years now, when people are like, I can't believe they're doing all of this stuff for free. I can't believe they're doing it for whatever it is, $49 a website. This is the cost of acquisition, right? This isn't something that they just thought of. I mean, years ago, people have been making this play to create their own content management system. And why not piggyback off of one of the most popular in the system? So lots of, or in the world, I should say. So lots of threads of thought here. I just wanted to hop on and make this video and let you all know uh, post status, uh, posted the article. So definitely check out the link below to read the story in its detail and definitely bookmark it or just keep hitting refresh because um, I'm sure Brian will add more insights to that article as they're released and as, as he uncovers them. Let me know what your thoughts are of Elementor raising money and the future of page builders and how you see all of that stuff rolling around the automatic world. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. Thumbs up if you like the video. We'll see you in the next video.